Hey guys, this is John from Walkthrough Code. So in this video, we are going to figure out how to set up uh, a Create React app in uh, inside of a full stack with Express or inside of a Node.js with Express. Um, and then in another video, I'll probably differentiate that from Parcel and things like that. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get started here. Um, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to generate just a quick server that we can use. Um, so I created this, uh, created this uh, generator package, not uh, not with um, Yo or anything, just a, a global npm package that generates a server for us. So we can say sudo uh, npm install dash g db config. And that will install dbconfig for us. Um, right now it's at 1.0.2 at this recording. There may be upgrades. We'll see. It doesn't really affect you at this time, though. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to generate one of these. So we're going to say dbconfig. And it's going to just walk you through some steps, and you'll get this started. So we'll say project name. Uh, we'll say... Uh, full stack react uh, database type we'll do postgres uh, database name I don't know I have this it doesn't really matter since we're not doing it anyway but I have a thing called Dell store 2 we'll use connects whatever again doesn't matter because we're not going to use it um, so now all we have to do is uh, CD into full stack react then we will run npm install you could also use yarn doesn't really matter um, so once that gets done installing, we'll open this up in Atom and start to do some stuff. Okay. Um, so first things first, I'm going to create a new folder called, actually I'm not, actually I am. Um, I'm going to create one called public, and then we'll say uh, static HTML, and we're just going to use this as a uh, just a tester area, just to show the principle of this. Um, I'm going to create a file inside of that directory called index.html, and then I'm going to open this and say just generate a quick blah. And then h1 will say this is static HTML. Um, so what we need to do is let's go down into server.js, and it's just a really a really simple thing. Um, actually, I forgot. I'm going to go into sorry, not index.ejs. Let's go into routes and index routes. And let's, let's just comment this out for now. Um, or actually, let's just say home. This actually doesn't even need to be there. You know what? I'm just actually... No, I'll, I'll leave it alone for now. Um, so next, we're going to... Going, uh, so we're also going to say app.use express.static, and I'll explain this in a minute. Uh, we'll say underscore underscore dir name plus, oops, plus forward slash public. Basically what this does is it serves this ooh, public, I guess we'll stay static HTML for now. Um, it's going to serve this directory um, when it starts. Um, Basically, so if we go to localhost 8000, which is what this is going to run on, um, then it'll serve this directory, which means it'll it'll send back index and it'll show that. Um, so technically, we could actually we could actually just get rid of these routes for now because they don't they don't really matter. Um, don't mind my linter too. I have to add this .js hint rc, and it's kind of irritating. 
Um, okay, so we actually don't need these either because we're not going to use any server-side rendering. Um, so let's go ahead and just run nodemon and see what happens. So if we go to 8000, we get that this is data cache HTML, which is great. So basically, just to confirm what's happening here, we are we are serving this directory, the public static HTML directory, um, when we are when the server is running. So as kind of that's kind of a premise to what we're gonna have to do when we run uh, create React app, because what we'll have to do is we'll have to basically. Um, We'll have to we'll have to basically put that as a public folder and then serve the right directory inside of that create React app. Um, so we're gonna say we'll just call this uh, we'll just say uncommoned for static HTML and then actually I will copy this and I'll say uh, uncomment for uh, create React app app, <laughs> um, and then here we'll we'll call this public CRA create React app. So that doesn't exist yet, um, but it will here in a second. So um, we're going to we're actually we're going to stop the server. We're going to uh, and then we're going to say just in case, uh, sudo npm install dash g. I'll put all these uh, global installs in the in the description. Uh, npm install dash g create react app. And we'll get that all installed just in case there's any updates. But yeah, that's how you install create react app, which is a Facebook incubator uh, project. Da da da. So um, now we are going to run uh, create react app and we'll call it public CRA so that's going to that see that's generating for us right now um, and then all we need to do when this is done installing is basically um, we need to do a build of it and then and then we should be able to just serve this so actually this will end up being well, well we'll leave it as it is now but I'll show you what I mean so um let's just let's just start this just to be just to prove that this actually works oops that's the wrong directory let's cd and then yarn start so this is the actual, this is actually this directory right here, which is why this is working and working like a normal create react app would. Um, so that's, that's all working. So then what we'll do is we will, we will say yarn or actually, sorry, npm run build. You can use yarn build too, but it, it's kind of like if you, if you have one kind of stick to it and actually, you know what it looks like? I have a yarn.lock. So let's just say just to, keep with everything we'll say yarn build and then what it'll do is it will generate and it'll create an optimized production build for you it'll you know minimize it and all that stuff um, and so notice that it creates this directory called build and that has all it needs to do to just to run off of uh, production build so then all we need to do is we need to just say public CRA forward slash build uh, forward slash you need to make sure that you put that forward slash at the end here because if you don't then it'll think it's a build.js and obviously it's not a build.js um, okay so then let's go back and let's say node mon so that'll that'll run our server file and what we're doing is we are serving this public create react app forward slash build so we're going in here we're saying look at a build and find the index to HTML file and serve that so fingers crossed this works and there we go so now we have a working react app that you can build um, or that you can develop inside of a 
um, inside of an Express app. I, I will say this. It just, I mean, I could, I could argue either direction. My personal opinion is that I like to build them separately and deploy them separately. Um, there are many, many, many use cases, I'm sure, that uh, if you were to deploy them together, there would be advantages. Um, but it, at least in development, I find that building them separately is ideal. Um, it, this actually inadvertently will allow that in the sense that you could run this particular um, run you can actually still, so argument's sake, if we go to uh, CD create, re uh, sorry, uh, create public CRA, there we go, and we say yarn start, we can go into uh, our actual app itself. We'll go into, I don't know, app.js and we'll say reload yo. And so obviously that doesn't exist yet, but if we save it, that will refresh, um, but if we go back to if we go back to eight thousand, we say node mon. That doesn't exist yet, which means that we would have to build it again. So if we said yarn build, that will not work because we're in the wrong directory. Yarn build. This video is getting a little longer than I was hoping, but that's okay. We're kind of proving a point here. So it's creating the build. And now it's done. So if we go here, the changes have not reflected yet. Why is that? Um, I'm going to I'm going to run this yarn build again and see what's going on here. This is serving the right directory. Let's see if that works. Maybe the browser has cached it which is entirely possible. Um, very reload it. Oh, wait, we need to run Nodemon. Oh, we're in the wrong one again. Okay, Nodemon. see if that worked. No, still didn't work. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. And it even told us it refreshed new content is available. That's interesting. Any, anyway, um, so that's part, it, it, it's, it's kind of a pain sometimes to do it this way. If you, if you develop it separately and then deploy it, even if it's inside this app, it makes life a little bit easier. Um, but such as my two cents and everybody has a different waiting did it different way to do it so anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope this was helpful i'm also going to make a video after this on um parcel and how to get it started with parcel um it's much much smaller of an app you don't have this uh create react app has testing and all this other stuff built in whereas um Parcel does not, so if you want to go a little bit more streamlined with all the all the extra or without all the extra stuff built in, you have that option as well. Anyway, um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, totally leave them in the uh, comment section below. Please like and subscribe. I love making videos for you guys. So the more of those I get, the more videos that I can make. Um, thanks so much again, and have an awesome day.